Stop and Guide. This is Truth Goddess Tarot 777. Today's read is for you, Sagittarius. Just for Sagittarius. Hmm. Sag, the cards have been shuffled. They've been prayed over. Sag, like, comment, and we know. Share these videos. Appreciate that. There's a particular video that I'd like you guys to share. I told you guys on the video that I uploaded um, that's posting for today. The title is called... Um, divorce all right but the video i'd like you guys to share is the video that is called um from rags to riches go look at the uh, video and you're going to see that is a video that uh i just would like you guys to get the energy out there because this is a very positive uplifting video that is definitely about those that resonate with it um again my videos are uploaded and made daily i had some troll come in my comments and say something that was very untrue um and i had to deal with them so don't ever come in my videos or on my page or in my comments pronouncing or trying to profess some lie my work i take it very seriously and it's done every day so this troll came in my comments and made a comment that was not true and i had to deal with that person i do not play with anyone i take what i do very seriously and i don't appreciate the disrespect so anyway sag take a look at the video that again it is called From Rags to Riches. Scroll down and you will definitely see that video. Um, it is actually a video that was posted six days ago. Sagittarius From Rags to Riches. Those videos, please support and share those videos. Thank you. All right, Sagittarius, you guys are excellent supporters and I definitely support you guys and I appreciate you. Uh, for being a part of the Truth Goddess Tarot family, as well as the Just for Sagittarius Tarot. Let's begin. The overall energy, hmm, this is interesting. There is somebody in your life that is a water sign, water, they have water and earth in their chart. This person is a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Hmm. This is also about someone that's all also a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So this person is a gambler. The courts are clearly showing me this. Somebody that's a gambler, they're also a gold digger. So, so we have a gold digger that's a gambler that's looking to come into your space somehow in some way. This person is definitely an opportunist. <clears throat> Drink your water, Sagittarius. They want your money. Hmm. They want to use you for your money. They're a gambler. This person will gamble and take a chance to come into your life to get your money. They're a gold digger. So we have problems with addictions, gambling, and bad, and bad finances. So they don't have any money. This person is digging for gold. They're digging for gold. They're digging to receive money from those who they can um, try to... You know, this person wants to come and steal your money. This person is being very patient as they persevere to try to get your money. This is what they're doing. This is somebody that's, again, that's addicted. This is a Capricorn, an earth sign, as the card just stated. So this person has addictions. The Capricorn, the devil card, is somebody that has an ego. They're very secretive. And they're very addicted. And they're also suffering with mental health issues. And this person is depressed. This person is, again, a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. As well as a Taurus, Virgo, or Libra. Or, excuse me, this person has is a Libra as well. Um, Because there are no... And this person may have pets. Hmm. Getting a new pet or giving... A, a current pet more love this person may have animals or have a liking for animals we're going to verify some information because this card comes out periodically and i'm not sure why this pet card is such a prevalent card but it is because it comes out every once in a while 
This person has pets or likes pets. Uh, this is a person who may have traveled to see a person who has pets that they had gone on a vacation with. Now this person has some sort of challenges while on vacation. Hmm. You and this person may be physically or emotionally distant. So this person and you are currently distant away from each other. Um, you're blocking this person. You're keeping this your distance from this person. And it's a good thing that you are sad because this person is not in love. They don't love you. This is somebody that wants to, again, dig for gold. This is what this person, they learn that you're independent. You are a queen of pentacles. You're very stable. You have money. You're a business-minded person. You have a good business sense. You're a great um, supporter of others. Your focus is on your money. You manifested good. Um, you manifested a, a lot of good things in your life. This person is in this energy of finding life to be very difficult. They're ready to release the struggle of you being out of their life. This person wants to surrender to be a friend of yours, but as the question is why. The question is because huh, this, the relationship is dead. This person could be physically losing their life. This is a person that's broke. They're in lack. They're lacking a lot. They're lacking everything. This is why this person is looking to find someone who they could use. This is what gold diggers do. They may have met a gold digger. We can clarify it harder too. Again, this person is looking to have passion. They're making plans or they have made plans. This is a person who's making plans to have a passion and start with you. This is this King of Pentacles. Wow. We have a King of Pentacles just looking to have a new start with you, Sagittarius. I did the video um, again for the Sagittarius, you new Sagittarius, check out uh, the most recent videos that were um, that's uh, available for you to view. Um, so take a look at that. But again, Spirit is telling me some energies. This could be you or somebody else. This is again somebody, you know, working to come to you very patiently. This is somebody that has a uh, hmm, unexpected source of money or income. Hmm. So this person knows or has an idea that uh, as a queen of pentacle, you have money. You know how to build money. You know how to build businesses. Spirit is telling you to slay this person. Slay this person because they're not coming with good intentions. Again, hmm, baddest. Okay, so we got a person. Who's hoping and think that they're the baddest when it comes to, oh, wow, huh, spying on you. This person thinks that they're the baddest. This is a narcissist. That car came, car came up. Yeah, this is a person who's looking to, again, be very possessive. And they are obsessed, right? This is somebody that's obsessed. But I want to get a little more information. Again, this person lives a distance from you. This could be physically and or emotionally distant from you. You, you guys are not connected to one another at this time. I feel like you let go of the connection. The core came out. And this person can't seem to understand how and why you let go. They're in their head. They're, they're having a new perspective about a situation. Whatever this perspective is, now this person is, um, yeah, they're having a new perspective. They're, they're seeing things a little differently. So, but now what we're going to do, say, so we got that energy. The spirit is saying, you're going to have to uh, slay these people. Spirit wants you to treat your body like the palace that it is. So Spirit is telling you to love on yourself now. Not to focus so much on these people, this water sign or this earth sign. This is Spirit is telling you to date yourself. Love on yourself. Take yourself out on a date, Sag. You know, treat your, your temple as it is. It is how, regardless of what you look like, tall, slim, thick, slender doesn't matter 
you've already conquered a lot, but Spirit is telling you to slay those that are looking to dig for gold with you. Spirit is saying it's time for you to get out and date yourself because you can be your own knight. Spirit is saying you need to love on yourself. Continue to love on yourself. These, this whole second row is talking about you, Sag, as to you loving yourself, treating yourself, um, thinking about yourself. The video that was uploaded yesterday, the, the video that premiered for you guys yesterday, talks a lot about this. So, um, again, it's carrying over. And this is the news. Because you have... Um, taking the opportunity to look in the mirror and to love on yourself it's now time for you to step out of the bubble to step out of your home some of you guys may be homebound this is what it says homebound spirit is saying date yourself step outside of your home uh go out enjoy nature that's what she, this person is doing she's one with nature she's one with herself she's loving on herself as this one woman is doing here She's loving on herself. She's enjoying the energies that are around her. She knows that she is a star seed. She's very happy. Yep. She's enjoying the sounds of spirit being surrounding her. Yeah. So spirit is telling you to love on yourself more because being alone is not being lonely. And those that are coming to try to, you know, interfere with your peace spirit is saying it's time to, time to slay these people they're no longer wanted in your life because at the at the end of the day you never needed these people anyway you were able you had you are special you are magnificent yeah so these people you don't need these people in your life because you're a phoenix How's that for a happy ever after? Yeah, you are a phoenix. You overcame a lot because again, gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. You've already fixed yourself. You don't need another, a partner or someone in your life to tell you that you're okay, to tell you that you're beautiful, to tell you that you're handsome, to tell you that you're smart. You have all the answers, they're all within you. So spirit is telling you to to love on yourself, Sagittarius, and not beat yourself up. Um, some of you guys may be in the energy of still feeling kind of down about a situation, not all. This read will resonate for those that it resonates with. Um, there's a tower moment for the, for someone, and that's gonna be some news you're gonna hear about. Hmm. Yeah. So, let's care for, what is it that we need to know about the water sign? No, nope, we're going to go another way. What other energies does Sagittarius need to know about? So this read is mainly focused on you, Sag. This is... <sighs> grief, Sag. This is not about um, a whole lot of, you know, drama. This, this is a nice read. This is a balanced read. Spirit is telling you it's now time to put your focus and energy on you primarily. Take yourself out. Springtime is here. It's a new season, a new reason to be happy, to be glad, to be on this journey. Love life, you know, fly. <laughs> Don't let nothing hold you because you, you always had the answers. You never needed those people, right? So that's why Spirit is saying, date yourself. Take yourself out on a date. You don't have to wait for anybody to bring you joy. Joy is within you. Okay. So here we go. Yeah. What is it? Give me some information that says you need to know. Jug. Lighthearted and carefree. Again, confirmation. So Spirit is saying, yeah, be lighthearted and carefree. Wow. It's, it's lining up, Sag. Some of you Sagis, it's time to lighten up. Springtime is here. Do your spring cleaning inside your house, inside your heart. Because you got these people that are still trying to work against you. That's always going to be the case. If you don't let it stop you, right? People have problems, let them suffer in pain and let them handle their own pain. You're in a good space. Stay in that space, Sag. Right? Because we already know the, the buff energy. The first row talked about somebody 
trying to use you, trying to, wow. As Beyonce said, me, myself, and I, confirmation. Go listen to that Beyonce song, Me, Myself, and I. She's all about herself. She's loving on herself. She doesn't need a cheater, a liar, a con artist in her life. And she has her head up. She's walking with confidence, beauty, success. She is a true empress. And that's what spirit is telling you to walk in, that same energy. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So don't waste time. Have focus in direction in your life, Sag. Seek out information that will help you. Some of you guys, if you are struggling to take the steps that you need to be in this energy that I just described, uh, get the help that you need. Okay, so we have someone working against you behind your back. We're going to clarify that. And obviously, it's probably this water sign or earth sign. Oh, wow, we have a, a dark man and something occurring in October or January. Hmm. And we have the ladder to success. So Spirit is saying you're, you are fulfilling your destiny. You're moving towards your success. Nice and slow, it's happening. Just keep going. Stay focused on yourself, right? Now, we're gonna clarify a card or two. Give me one card for January. Again, the reads are timeless. January, we know, of 2023 has passed, but time is endless. So don't come in with the comments, oh, January and February is gone, or January is gone. We know that. Time is endless. This read is for those that resonate with it, all right? So one card for January. January is also the month of the Capricorn. So it's not just about, you know, we have the Capricorn energy up here. So in January, there's some news or something about some clarity that you receive. You receive some news of some sort. You understand something. You are not in this illusion about a, a person, place, or thing. Right. The magician court wanted to come out. So again, you have, you're not in this illusion. You know the truth. Hmm. Some plans. Long distance planning. The three of wands is about moving forward, looking toward the future. And I feel like you, being that you are clear in your mind and in your thinking, you've made plans, long-term plans. You're not holding on to your past. You're looking at the future and you're trying to figure out what it is you're wanting to do, which way you want to go, right? And the Three of Wands definitely gives you that momentum and confidence. And you have clarity. So in January, you had the momentum or you will have it and the confidence to expand and grow. And that's what you're looking. You're, you have foresight now. You, you found out some things. You know what you should be doing on this journey. So give me a card for October. That is the Libra energy. Okay, so in October as the queen of wands. You're very confident. Um, you have great foresight, exactly. This card also, so you have foresight. You as the queen of wands have foresight as to your future and which way you wanna go. Another card for October. Okay, you realize that you're not looking back at past people, relationships, family, cousins, you realize that you have the mo momentum and the confidence to go forward and leave behind the past and close out a cycle because you have obviously transformed and changed to something new. You, you know that there's better out there and that's what you're looking for. You are sure of it. Basically, you're sure of what you're going for. You're not going to hold on to a past situation. You're going to find happiness as the empress. That is what you're doing. Anything else is dead to you. Beautiful. Wow. So in October, you're going to go forward. Huh. You're not going to hold on to past relationships because you change. You're not the same person. You know that 
you're searching and believing in fulfillment, all your wishes to become true. When it comes to being comfortable in, in a home life, just being secure. You're closing out the dead. That's Scorpio. You're closing out people that are gamblers, that are gold diggers. You, you're leaving behind all of that. You have the foresight to know right now that in your future going forward, that this is what you're going to do because you are beautiful and confident. And you have great foresight. You're very intuitive. So, yes, you've decided that you're striving for happiness. Yes. Yes, indeedy. That's what you're going for, Sag. All right, so we're going to clarify another card or two, Sag. Hmm. Let's find out about this rat, right? We know this rat is a water sign, an earth sign, and they're a gambler. This person is a gold digger. And they like pets or have pets. This person, you know, may have pets. They do have pets. Hmm. But somebody's a rat. And why is this person after sex? Because they want the money. Hmm. One call for the rat. Let's find out about this rat. What else does Sads need to know about this rat? Hmm. This is somebody that was juggling. Hmm. They're going after your success. One core for the rat. This is somebody that was a juggler. <laughs> Again, they're going after your success and your abundance. Yeah, this person wants... <laughs> they want your blessings. This sounds... Wow. Let's see specifically. Hmm. They want your abundance. Hmm. You're going to need to act on this person's behavior, Sag. This person is Leah. One card for August. What? What is it the Sag needs to know for August? Yeah, this. Wow. So in August, your foundation, your home, you're going to have to protect your home. What else? Maybe you'll, hmm, in August there was something about protecting us, your foundation, your home. You're going to have to be on guard when it comes to something at your home. Hmm. A lot of cords. So, what else about August for Sag? Quickly, Spirit. Quickly, another card for August. So, in August, we have the August and the sense of act. Wait, hold on. So, wait, Spirit is saying time to act. So, you're going to have to be on guard when it comes to your home in August. What? Wow. Spirit, that's all. That's it. Spirit is telling you, yeah, you got, you need to watch. Somebody's gonna, somebody's watching your home. Hmm. Somebody's stalking and watching and talking about you. So, in August, protect your home. You're gonna have to be on guard. Somebody's gonna be working to, working against you. Someone here will be investing to cause a tower moment for you in August. Hmm. Be on guard. But you'll know. You'll have all the answers by then. <laughs> this is somebody that wants to betray you. This is coming real quick. Somebody is looking to do some harm to you in August. These reads are timeless. So past, present, or future. You have one card that was in February, and now you have one that's in August. So take the energies as they apply. So just be, Spirit is telling you, you, you're need, you need to be vigilant. Excuse me. Spirit is saying you need to be vigilant and watch your home. Be very, very protective of your home, your money. Because there's a rat that's trying to, again, 
take a gamble to try to huh, get your big blessings. Some of you may not have big blessings. Again, the energies take them as they apply to you, all right? Not all Sagittarius or Empresses. Not all Sagittarius is or in the Nine of Pentacles energy. Just take what resonates. Not everybody is on the same journey. So you have to take what applies, right? And it's also what you believe, right? Some people don't believe. Some people don't have the ability to walk in the Empress energy. You know, that's why you have to take what resonates with you. Not everybody is not a planner or a worker, you know? Everybody is on a different journey. This person is planning to continue to watch you. There was some sort of investment. This this person watching your home in August. And Spirit is telling you, you're going to need to act. You're going to need to take action. Because this person is looking to cause, again, a catastrophic moment. This energy has been out here for a while. This person... <laughs> This will backfire. Just do your cleansing. Protect yourself. This is a past life person. This is somebody from your past. This person doesn't like that you're single. And again, this is somebody looking at your home and your property. You as the beauty queen. Because you are very adorable, handsome. You get a lot of attention. Remember, you're the queen of wands. Very beautiful, sexy. You're single and you're dating. You're free. Right. And or an ice queen. So you're beautiful. You're confident. You're sexy. You're very intuitive. You know what you want. You're going after it. You're working on protecting your home, your business. You've made plans. You're clear about what you want to do. There's no confusion. Remember, the overall energy is you're loving on yourself because you can be the knight. Spirit is saying you're going to This is why this card came out here. This is exactly why. This is why slay them all. This is why Spirit is saying protect your home. This is, see that home back there? It's a castle, but she's protecting herself and she has a sword. So this lines up. Spirit is telling you in August, you're going to have to protect yourself. And be on guard. You're as long as you're strong and healthy and confident, and you know what you're supposed to be doing to protect your energy in the physical realm and physically on this earth. Do what you need to do to protect yourself, Sag. The energies are out here. I'm not the only reader talking about this. So understand this person just wants to take away your happiness as we already. We already have this card out here. So this is just confirmation. When the same cards keep coming out, that's just confirmation. You know, your wishes are coming true. You're so filled with happiness and success and positivity. You got people that are from your past. This, their life is coming to a close and, and an ending, right? And again, you have all this happiness. You're surrounded by happiness and love and joy. And that's what you're working on and keeping peace at your home. So, Spirit is just telling you, as the Empress, here you are. Protect yourself. You've been through a lot, Sag. And you're going to continue to fight to protect what's yours. And that's what Spirit is telling you. Be vigilant and watch your home. Be protective of your energy. Again, here's the ending. This has been a change for you spiritually. You've trans transmuted the energy. There's an ending. Someone wants to cause an upheaval in your life. It's not going to work though. So Spirit is just telling you. Again, we're going to close now. We know it's this gold digger. Find out about the pets. What is it about the pets? What about the pets? Because that car keeps coming out. Tell me about the pets. What is it the Sag needs to know about this pets? One card. Hmm, pets. You're going to have balance. Maybe get a pet. I don't know. Some of you guys, if you have pets, watch out for your pets. One card for the pets. And that's it, Sag. We're out of here. 
you know spirit is telling you to be free to be happy hmm one card pets oh wow so protect your pets your angels are watching you and your pets as well that's the only thing i can think of and see here with that pets card so there's a lot of balance when it comes to your life. You have serenity and peace and calmness around you. You are resting. All right, so this is it, Sag. This is a very enlightening video. And Spirit is telling you again, your Ten of Pentacles is coming, remember. Again, you're building and working on your money. You got thieves out here that's willing to take a gamble to try to hurt you. This is not an illusion. This is something that someone is working on. They're, you know, going around and around and around. They have nothing else to do but to try to find a way to. This is actually somebody recording you. Somebody could be, somebody's watching and recording you. This is a page. This is a loser, clearly a loser. Okay, so we're done, Sag, with this read. This person is heartbroken. <laughs> They're heartbroken. This, this is how this narcissist deal with their pain, by stalking and watching you. Hmm. Life like each other quality, having fun. So again, you're going to have fun and find new passion with someone else. Shocking news. Wow. There's going to be some sort of shocking news. Wow. Hmm. And again, we already know this person is addicted. So there's going to be some sort of shocking news coming your way. Tell us about the shocking news. What is it? What is the shocking news? <laughs> You're going to receive unexpected income. Wow. <laughs> That'll be the, it, you as the privileged lady. Wow. Wow. And you're going to be courting someone. So that's the end, uh, Sag. This was excellent overall. So we're going to be out of here. So be expecting an unexpected amount of income as the privileged lady. Also that you'll be dating someone. So that's that's it in a, in a nutshell for you, Sagittarius. Giving and receiving. Exactly. Somebody's going to be giving and you're going to be receiving. Wow. That's the reset. Bye.